So Okada starts, and then Kiyomiya returns to the ring and just nails him with this kick to the head. Uh, Chris Charlton could not bring up Akira Maeda's name fast enough. And this is a very, very famous spot in Japanese wrestling history when uh, Akira Maeda uh, came in and just shoot kicked Ricky Choshu right in the face, um, which was like a legit like double cross. Um, This was obviously uh, playing off of that. But the intensity generated from this was unbelievable. Okada's legit busted open. Like, he's got this knot on his forehead from this kick. And I'm sure it was just, lay this in because we've got to make this look intense. Mm -hmm. And, dude, they had this brawl where it just looked out of control. Uh, Kevin Kelly was amazing here because he is just yelling for this match to be stopped because it has just gotten out of control. They are like just firing off at one another and they're going to the floor. The intensity was just it was captivating, Um, especially from Okada that you never really see get to this level. You know, he's usually a guy who seems very controlled. I mean, other than, you know, when he's like wrestling the last five minutes of the match, of course, but like otherwise very stoic. But here mid match, I mean, what, two, three minutes in? Eight minutes. Oh, this, eight yeah, minutes, yeah, this, this yeah. thing, the, the whole thing itself went, uh, the whole match went six and a half minutes, but it was uh, more than half of that was this brawl between Okada and mm-hmm. Kiyomiya. And you see, uh, like Okada, like grab him into a guillotine. He mounts Kiyomiya and Kelly's just calling this referee a fool for not stopping this. And Kiyomiya comes back with this nasty drop kick, just drills Okada with it. Um, Makabe is down there. There's a German to Okada on the floor. Inamura is trying to restrain Kiyomiya. It's like Makabe and Kiyomiya or, or, and Inamura are playing their parts. Like mm-hmm. this match has fallen apart. And but it was never this kind of like um like where it's insulting your intelligence. It just felt like this is out of control. It felt dangerous, which they typically do not you don't get that feeling too often in a pro mm-hmm. wrestling setting. And then the match is finally called with the bell. And the fans booed, and I was like, dude, this this is awesome. Like, I'm watching this. I'm like, this is one of the best angles I have seen. And it's a no contest. Dude, this was one of the best uh, no contests you are yeah. going to see. This was perfect. And Kevin Kelly is on the microphone and thinks, like, this calls for a singles match. And that is, in fact, what we will get at the Tokyo Dome next month. Uh, for me- th- This was my highlight of the show. And yeah. that includes a, a great match that was to come. But to me, this is the kind of angle that um, I'm really curious to see how big this is because this feels like a big, big match and could be a defining one for Kiyomiya. Like, this is the most significant thing that Kiyomiya has done, a uh, GHC title reigns included. I mm. and This was all the buzz yesterday. Yeah. Before I started watching the show, uh, you know, a day later, I mean, c- certainly looking at some online reaction to the show, this was really I saw w- what I saw most people talking about. And once I started watching, like, I didn't know exactly what had happened. I didn't know that there was a no contest. I just started watching the show. And then when I saw that kick, <laughs> OK, and then you saw Okada fire up to a level that I've never seen Okada fire up before. Um, And then they did that extended brawl. I'm like, are they doing this? Are they going to go for a no contest on a pay-per-view with an Okada match? And they did. And listen, like, you will never hear me praise a no contest this much, especially, you know, since I review Raw on on Mondays that we get a lot of those. But in a New Japan ring, in maybe a Japanese ring period, you know, they feel so incredibly rare. And especially on a on a big dome show like this involving a, a somebody like a Kazuchika Okada that this was shocking and I thought really ballsy booking and it completely sucked me in and it, complete, it completely worked. I, I thought it was really brilliant and incredibly well executed. I mean, they could have just announced the match, you know, uh, the singles match between Kiyomi and, and, and Okada at some point and I think it would have generated a good amount of buzz. But they had this incredible heat that was built between the two so that the rivalry actually feels genuine and it's not just you know a byproduct of a promotional partnership it's not like survivor series where like they put the smackdown champion against the raw champion and whatever who gives a shit right like this is a feud where you actually feel like these two hate each other stemming off of the long-term programming and i think just looking at the two of them you know seeing like this like what feels like they, you know, sort of like alternate dimension versions of each other, you know, tall, 
blonde Japanese men, you know, with these brilliant robes. And, uh, of course, you know, stemming off of um, last year's finish as well. So this was fantastic. And some of the freshest I've ever seen Kazuchika Okada in a long, long time. So, like, Darby, you know, rolls Muda off into the sunset to the right side of the stage. And they realize they went the wrong way. <laughs> So they have to roll oh all the way God. back to the other side. The last thing you hear, I shit you not, as they fade back to the arena. How did I miss this? Is Sting singing, ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Like for all the pageantry and like mysticism, like they brought in the fake snow. They brought in everything for these guys' entrances to make their presences feel larger than life. <laughs> This post match it turned into like grumpy old men. <laughs> couldn't have been more down to earth. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I know what I'm doing. It's, it's redundant. <laughs> Dude, he walked into the back. I'm like, this is like the ultimate visual. I'm yeah. done with the show. There's like <laughs> no. five minutes left. Nothing. After the curtain, like it's like, oh my god, show's over. Yeah.